Do you use React 18 or any other framework where cleaning up after your animation is important? If so, this video is for you. Let's take a look at GSAP's new revert and context. So revert's a new method. It lets you kill animations and reset the element to its pre-animation state. Isn't that what kill does? Good question. Let's look at the difference. We're gonna kill this box and revert this one. Both animations are killed, but this element stays in the state it was in when it was killed. Whereas revert, well, revert reverts it. Check out the inline styles. Kill styles are still sticking around, but reverting deletes all the inline styles added by the animation. Awesome. So why is this useful? Well, in React 18, apps that are wrapped in strict mode run extra checks in dev to make sure that your effects are properly cleaning up after themselves. All effects fire, then clean up, then fire again. See, this console log fires twice. This causes unexpected results with from tweens because GSAP immediately renders them at their from position. Oh no, no animation, what do we do? React's blog says use the cleanup function to reset any animated element to its initial state. Hey, that's what revert does. You're quite right. Pop a revert in the cleanup function then. And we're cooking on gas, animation, dead easy. But what if we have tons of animations? Reverting them one by one sounds really annoying. Yep, we agree. So we've made context. Pop all your animations inside of context, then you can revert them all in one go. Bam! And that's the lot. Now go and clean up your animations. I'll catch you next time. Happy tweening. In React 18, apps wrapped, wrapped in strict... Well, in React 18, apps wrapped in... Uh, in React 18, apps wrapped in... Apps wrapped in strict mode. In React 18, apps that are wrapped in strict mode run extra checks in dev to make sure that your effects are properly cleaning up after themselves.